In this video, I'm going to explain exactly why doing HIIT cardio is a complete waste of time and actually causing you to get worse results if you're trying to lose fat. Now, let me explain it very, very simply. So, first of all, what is HIIT cardio? So, HIIT cardio, it's well, it's an acronym for High Intensity Interval Training. Meaning, you know, you do 30 seconds worth of sprint and you take 30 seconds rest and then you'd repeat that for like five or 10 goes and then you're pretty much done. So the idea is you do a bunch of cardio, like a bunch of high intensity shit in like a third, uh, you know, 15 minute window, like just a small window of time. So, you know, you burn a bunch of calories and then they say you get this epoch effect where it's like after you're, after you're done doing the cardio, you burn calories for the next 48 hours or 24 hours. Just all, It's like, yes, it's true. I've read some of the literature on it, but it's like, it's so, so minute. It's so little calories that it actually doesn't help. And what people don't understand about cardio is, and just a disclaimer, if you want to do this cardio, you're an athlete, you enjoy it, and it helps your mental health, physical health, whatever it may be. If you enjoy it and any of those reasons, keep doing it. If it helps you, keep doing it by all means. But for those that want to look like a Greek god, you want to lose fat and build muscle, the right proportions to look amazing, you do not need to hit cardio. In fact, it could be the reason why, you know, you're losing muscle or not being able to um, excel in the gym. So... Fat loss, right? We need to be in a calor caloric deficit. There's no two ways about it, right? So eating less than our body burns on a daily basis. And if we're doing HIIT cardio, one, it's going to spike our um, appetite. We're going to be hungry because of the physical exertion. We're going to be very hungry. Number two, it's going to impair our ability to recover in the gym. So when you're in a calorie deficit, right, your body is literally, quite literally, in starvation mode. Now, don't get scared about, oh, I'm starving. Listen, your body just doesn't know any different, right? So you're eating less than it needs. So it's going to adapt to that by losing fat. If there's a stimulus for muscle growth, if you did not train, like you didn't train in the gym at all, and all you did was hit cardio, or just no cardio for that matter, and you just went into calorie deficit, what you'll find is you'll lose water, you'll lose fat, but primarily you'll lose muscle also. Whereas when you do resistance training and you progressively overload or you retain like your strength in the gym, you will either retain all your muscle mass in a deficit or best case scenario for beginners and intermediates, you'll actually build muscle in a calorie deficit. So the reason why you should not do HIIT cardio if your goal is to look like a Greek god is because we need as many calories for our recovery from our training as humanly possible. And we can only get so many calories because we're in a calorie deficit. And if a lot of your calories are going towards recovering from your HIIT workout, then how the fuck are you going to hit PRs in the gym? And secondly, your appetite increases. So you might be thinking, yeah, but I'm burning, uh, you know, I'm burning a lot of calories. First of all, you don't burn that many. Secondly, that it's the trade-off is not worth it because what you'll come to find is you'll get so damn hungry that you'll end up eating five times of the amount of calories that you burned anyway, if not 10 times, if not 20 times. And I'm not exaggerating. I've been here. I've been there. I was doing hit cardio, hit cardio, hit cardio, trying to get lean, trying to get the shredded abs. And when I stopped doing it, I fucking binge ate like there was no tomorrow. I'm saying Domino's, I'm saying McDonald's, I'm saying a tub of ice cream, a litre tub of ice cream, like picnic ice cream, Cadbury style, you know? I was eating all that shit because I was so fucking exhausted. And the third thing, your central nervous system. Now, what is your central nervous system? Look, I'm not a, I'm not a scientist, right? I'm not one of these guys, right? But your central nervous system essentially is, you know, your nerves, your spinal cord, all that kind of shit. It's all connected. And when you exert yourself in the gym physically, so, you know, progressively overloading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you're in a calorie deficit, there's a lot, and I mean a lot of stress on the central nervous system. And don't even, like, if you're training more than three times a week, and you're in a deficit, and you're doing hit cardio, and you're working a job, and you've got a family, and you've got a girlfriend, and, you know, you've got all this shit going on, 
and you've got hobbies, your central nervous system is going to get fucked up. Meaning your stress is going to get high, your cortisol is going to go up, your testosterone is going to dip. And there's no point losing fat if your testosterone is going down because you're going to get bitch tits, you're going to develop gyno. And if you don't do that, you're just going to end up losing muscle and you could even gain fat. Because the thing is, a deficit only is important if you can sustain the calorie deficit. If you can't, if you do it for a week, right? And then you get fed up and then you, you know, you binge eat for two weeks. You're going to get fat. There's no two ways about it. So absolutely, under no circumstances, unless, unless hit cardio actually helps you, like mental health and all that kind of shit. Of course, do it if it's fun for you. But by no means do you need to do it. So what do you do instead then? Well, I recommend just walking, man. Just walk. Just walk 30 minutes in nature, an hour if you want, with friends, listen to a podcast, uh, listen to my videos, whatever you want, man. But do not overcomplicate it. Do not do hit cardio thinking you're going to build some great physique. It's not going to happen. If you're an athlete, bodybuilder, don't listen to my advice. I'm trying to help the average man transform their body to look more like a Greek god. Hope you got some value out of this one, and I'll catch you in the next one.